What is innate immunity? The immune system defines all the processes that our body uses to fight against all foreign compounds. It takes into account innate or natural immunity, present from birth, which acts as a first line of defense against pathogens. How does it work? What cells are involved in this process? The answers of Dr. Sylvain Chiquette, head of the clinical hematology department at Pitié Salpêtrière, APHP. Reminder, what is the immune system? The immune system is a network of cells, tissues and organs that work together to protect the body from foreign compounds, whether abnormal, tumor or virus infected cells. What is the difference between innate immunity and acquired immunity? As its name suggests, innate immunity is present from birth. It's the one that everyone has and which occurs first when the body comes into contact with a pathogen. It's a security immunity that has no memory, summarizes the specialist. This immunity does not require prior interaction with the foreign compound or pathogen to be activated. Unlike innate immunity, acquired or adaptive immunity is specific to each pathogen. It develops throughout life in response to exposure to foreign cells or vaccination. The main players in this immunity are B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, which are capable of specifically recognizing the antigens of infectious agents. How does innate immunity occur? Innate immunity acts through a series of non-specific defense mechanisms that are triggered quickly when faced with an infectious agent. There are two main types of reaction in innate immunity. The complement cascade system. This is probably the oldest form of immunity, which was found in prehistoric bacteria. It is a system of very complex proteins which activate each other and cascade through a system of enzymes, leading to the destruction of the foreign cell, explains Dr. Chiquette. Innate cellular immunity which involves different blood cells with specific roles. The mechanisms of innate immunity can be physical, such as the skin mucosal barrier that prevents pathogens from entering the body. They can also be chemical, thanks to substances secreted by immune cells, substances called cytokines, or even mechanical, as is the case with phagocytosis, a process where certain cells, macrophages, encompass and destroy infectious agents. Another key mechanism is the inflammatory response, which helps attract immune cells to the site of infection and stimulate tissue repair. This inflammatory response is triggered by danger signals emitted by infected or damaged cells, and involves the production of chemical mediators such as cytokines. Innate immunity also relies on the recognition of molecular patterns specific to pathogens, using receptors called pattern recognition receptor PRR. These patterns, called PAMPs, are common to many pathogens allowing a rapid, non-specific response. What cells are involved? Neutrophiles are a type of white blood cell or leukocyte. They are the most abundant cells of the innate immune system. These cells are capable of detecting and eliminating pathogens, particularly bacteria, says Dr. Chiquette. Neutrophile white blood cells circulate in the blood and must receive a signal to leave the bloodstream and pass into the tissues, where they primarily play their role. This is where they are the main cellular antibacterial agent. Their lifespan is very short, and they are entirely consumed by their function. When they die they form pus. Lymphocytes or natural killer NK cells regulate the inflammatory reaction. NK natural killer lymphocytes play a major role in innate immunity. NK are capable of recognizing and eliminating foreign cells, such as tumor cells or cells infected by a virus, says the specialist. They use inhibitory receptors to develop, mature and distinguish self from non-self. NK lymphocytes also secret cytokines which participate in the regulation of the inflammatory reaction but also in the control of the adaptive immune response. They finally have the ability to destroy cancer cells in pathogens through a process called cytolysis. How does innate immunity persist? The prolongation of innate immunity is closely related to adaptive immunity. Indeed. These two types of immunity constantly interact to ensure optimal protection against pathogens. In the event of repeated exposure to the same pathogen, innate immunity is strengthened thanks to acquired immune memory. This is acquired or adaptive immunity, describes the head of department. This is mainly due to BNT lymphocytes, which, once activated by a specific antigen, are capable of remembering this antigen and reacting more quickly and effectively upon further exposure. Innate immunity although it is the body's first line of defense, is not sufficient to eliminate certain pathogens. This is where it is relayed by adaptive immunity, which offers a more specific and lasting immune response. How do vaccines work? 
Vaccines are designed to act in concert with these two immune systems. They contain weakened or inactive elements of an infectious organism, antigens, which trigger an immune response in the body. To put it simply, they mimic the early phases of an infection, mainly by exposing to the immune system components of the pathogen which are initially recognized by the innate immune system and then adaptive immunity, as during natural infection. This is how the body learns to fight infection without risking complications from the disease.